What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here at FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W and I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. This time we're talking about the top three fantasy options as it comes to the Carolina Panthers for the 2022 season. We'll start it off with Christian McCaffrey running back here and probably the most polarizing figure in fantasy football outside of Gabe Davis. Had to get a shot in there of course but when people just don't know if he's going to be healthy. I get it and it's hard to when you spend that top pick on a, on a fantasy running back especially and they don't and they're not healthy and they don't pay off it leaves a sour taste in your mouth but the fact remains that when Christian McCaffrey is on the field this dude is lighting up numbers we're looking at you know he only played in seven full games last year in 2021 but in four of those games he put out a top six performance you're looking at you love the numbers yards per reception 9.3 from Christian McCaffrey this guy is a Swiss army knife can do it all and and maybe you know having a little bit of running back depth could help them and they we know they want to kind of monitor his carries and, and things like that that could help him but when it's looking at inside the 10 under Matt Rule this guy is getting 85% of the touches we absolutely love that from a fantasy fo football perspective when it comes to the running back position so keep keep trusting in Christian McCaffrey and definitely if you have a you know a top three pick there um, you should definitely be considering Christian McCaffrey in PPR leagues I can't believe he's being faded in, in some regards but this guy is still king when on the field and treat him as such for this year let's talk about DJ Moore, who's had some bad fantasy luck. Uh, when it comes to the touchdown department, only four touchdowns in the past three years in each of the past three seasons. And, you know, even to start last year in 2021, this guy had three in the first four games and just can't get over that hump. But I think he will this year. We're, we love that Baker Mayfield, uh, of all the quarterbacks that, that DJ Moore has played with, he has the highest touchdown percentage, which is kind of hard to believe. But but Cam Newton, Sam Darnold, um, and, and Teddy Bridgewater didn't meet that mark that, that Baker or Mayfield could um, so we, we love that and also love you know he's still giving you production production when it comes to receiving yards 1200 in each of the past three seasons so give DJ Moore a shot there I love that he's going you know kind of mid of the fourth round there sometimes later on in the fourth round and if you're starting off with a hero RB approach taking that you know anchor RB or what have you and then going wide receiver heavy he makes a great wide receiver three option I take him as a wide receiver too um, in, in hopes that we can get the upside production that we're looking for last but not least we're going to touch on Baker Mayfield and it might be hard to buy into him to kind of draft in your fantasy leagues but Definitely keep an eye on him from streaming. I mean, he's definitely an upgrade from what we've seen with Sam Darnold, some numbers that I've already mentioned. Um, and, and I think that's, this is a contract year from him. It's a proven year. He took less money to be here. Um, and he's he's going to, you know, he might have some Baker moments. But definitely when we're looking at the state of the 2022 fantasy season, there are going to be weeks when there's a lot of quarterbacks on by. You're definitely going to want to target him in weeks six through nine. And then you're looking at the fantasy playoffs. He has some fa favorable matchups with the Pittsburgh Steelers with the Detroit Lions if things are breaking Carolina's way let's give Baker Mayfield a shot I think he should definitely be on the streaming radar and should be on your radar in, in two QBs and in, in, in potentially super flex leagues when it comes to buys so Baker Mayfield he, he's a step up from Sam Darnold if we could get some favorable numbers like we saw in 2018 and 2020 we'll be comfortable with that guys that's going to do it for me on this edition of the FanDuel hurry up catch me on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W I'll catch you guys next time until then peace